Hey, this is Joe Tech from JoeTech.com. Uh, today, I'm going to walk through how to jailbreak and uh, unlock uh, the new iPhone 3GS. The jailbreak and unlock are now available online. Um, and all you have to do is, uh, to start with, head over to Purple Rain, P-U-R-P-L-E-R-A-1-N.com. And it looks like this. Uh, then at the bottom, just download the Windows executable and you're ready to go now there's been problems on uh, Vista with this working uh, so I'm gonna try in administrator mode I already have my iPhone plugged in and uh, it's on it's just asleep and I have iTunes open as well so with that all set up then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna run in as administrator because I tried before uh, just running it normally and it pretty much bricked my phone so um, I just had to do a restore which wasn't a big problem it just took a little time so I'm gonna run it as administrator I'm gonna give it permission and I'll say allow and it comes up with this make it rain action here so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it says entering recovery. Now this is the uh, Purple Rain RC2A. There was an RC1 that was originally out. It had a couple of problems um, that people reported. But uh, after a little bit of work, they released an RC2. And I guess this is RC2A that fixes some of those problems. So. Hopefully we shouldn't have any problems. If uh, if we do, then I'll be doing this from XP tomorrow. If not, then it should uh, reboot pretty soon here. And uh, see, there we go. That's much better. See, before it said done, waiting for reboot, and this screen never came up. It just had the connectivity screen, and uh, it sat there for 12 minutes before I gave up on it and re restarted. Uh, but now it says done, waiting for reboot. Um, I've got my little indicator. This is the equivalent of uh, the little pineapple on uh, previous jailbreaks. So we'll just wait for this to reboot. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. And once it does, looks like it's rebooting right now. Uh, once it's rebooted, there's a program called, uh, I believe, Freeze that we're going to run. This is my first time through it, so uh, if everything goes well, you'll see it on YouTube. Um, we'll run Freeze, and then that should do it. What Freeze does is that just installs Cydia for us. So, uh, it says we're, we're done here. So I'm going to go over here, and I have, you can't see it too well, but it's Freeze. Let's see if I can zoom in. So I'm going to run that. Come on now. There we go. I have to actually touch it. So now Freeze is running. And at the bottom it says Install Cydia. So I'll click that. Downloading. Now I'm on my Wi-Fi network, so hopefully this should be pretty quick. The well, progress bar at the bottom shows it's going pretty smoothly. While that's going uh, up here, I still have this window open, and you can just close that once you uh, once your iPhone reboots and you see freeze, you can just close that. So unpacking, unpacked, cleaned, finished. So it says it's all done. Okay, so one thing I wasn't aware of uh, with the freeze app is even after it says it's done, you can close that out. Um, but then what you need to do is restart your phone. So shut the phone down, bring it back up, and then Cydia should be installed. So now that we have Cydia, let me turn the volume on my laptop off here. Um, now that we have Cydia installed, the unlock process is pretty simple. Um, just go into Cydia. Cydia, the first time it's run, uh, will take a moment. 
to do some updates. Okay. And we can open Cydia back up again. And I always say I'm a hacker because I want the command line. But you can go with the user option either way. So it installs a few packages, does a couple updates. And it's pretty much ready to go. I just have to wait for it here. Now we have to do a couple more ups up updates. I'm just doing essential. It's pretty quick. So I say close and restart. And I'll go into City again. Okay, now that I'm in here and everything's updated, at the bottom here there's a manage option, second in from the right. Click that, then I click sources because I want to add a new source. So I'll hit edit up at the top here. And then on the left side I want to hit add. And I'm going to type in repo 666 dot ultra snow dot com this is, this is uh, the same method we used to unlock the 3G in my other video so I'll hit add source and it's going to do the exact same thing except this one's complaining about modmy.com So, there's my repo, so now I'm going to go to search at the bottom here. Hopefully that all installed correctly. I'm just going to start typing Ultra Snow, and it did find it, so that's good. So I had a couple errors, but it still came up okay. Uh, then I click Install at the top. I'm going to Confirm. And it goes through pretty quickly, and it's going to say Returning. Okay, so now I'm done. We'll see if it works on T-Mobile. Okay, I had to uh, reboot it once more, but um, the iPhone 3GS is back up now. And I don't know if you can see here, the network is T-Mobile. It's kind of hard to read. And the version at the bottom there is, let me get back to it. Version is 3.0.